you don't have any idea what you want to post on Instagram today. Really, just you have a photo, but you don't know what to caption it. You just you just don't know what to say. Well, neither do I. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Jade. And today we're talking about something that was kind of in my heart. Weirdly enough, I actually couldn't come up with a video. There's only one thing I really wanted to say for the past week. Just thank you. Now you guys don't know this, maybe you do, but um, recently this channel has been growing and I thank you for sticking along. Whoever showed support, anyone who showed support, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate you being here. I created this channel to help you guys grow on social media, so it blows my mind that you guys are getting value and that you're excited to just kind of start this journey. Now, the point of this video is actually to kind of give you value in a way of telling my tips and tricks on, you know, what to do when you come, when you can't come up with ideas. So like yeah, the way this video is gonna work is just it's a casual conversation I want you to grab a snack grab a drink. We're bringing it back to gold old days I have a hoodie on I'm in my old room if you guys are an OG subscriber. You know this room I used to just like do a lot of shit in here. I don't even know what I was doing I was traveling a little bit from LA like, you know the West Coast for a business trip and then now I'm back here I have a flight to catch next week or actually in three days back to LA and if you guys were curious why I haven't posted a video this might be a longer story um, So make sure you grab a snack. It'll give you a lot better perspective on what I'm about to say So say it at the very end if you want to know how to basically combat this lack of creative energy to come up with content Like I've been sitting in my room for a little bit um Working you guys don't even know how excited I am for the month of August. It's just gonna be a good month uh, Stay to the very end for more details announcements on my company apps and even a meetup, but <laughs> Sorry, self promo. But I wanted to say one thing, which was for this process, I've been having a little checklist that's been specific to coming up with more video ideas and content for you guys. <sighs> now, to be honest, guys, I've been making this list for three days, and I know three days is not a lot, but I legitimately had nothing to say. Like, I. Like. <laughs> I just didn't have anything to say. I didn't have ideas. I definitely knew a lot of the stuff I've said is on the internet already, so I didn't necessarily want to repeat myself. I just I was just getting to the point where I'm like, like I don't know what to post. And I don't know if you guys been there, maybe you felt like you've done a lot and you you just want endless ideas. The thing with endless ideas is they come in the most random ass places. I kid you not, I got this video idea in the shower while listening to some Drake song, you know, Basic Bitches. Uh, and then I got an idea. I get the best ideas when I'm literally taking a shit. I get the best ideas not even for myself. I go on YouTube and see and market research and see what people are doing. Which leads me to my next point, which is it's really hot right now. I have this like AC thing because so hot where I live right now that I'm dying. Actually, I'm in a hoodie. What am I doing? Do I do we like this? No. Okay. Okay. A little better. Anyways, at this video, I'm actually gonna get ready for the day. If you're new here, you not you might not know, but I I used to do a lot of videos about like just getting ready, talking about marketing, just being super casual, just like a little chit chat. Wait, where was I? Right, I don't have an idea and I think for the longest time I was like you have to have a really brilliant idea to, to make content like it's not worth your time If it's not gonna get viewed this leads me to my first point, you know how to come up with ideas when you don't know what to do I think step one is to understand the foundation right which is please don't put your value in a number put it into something internal What does it mean to put something internal um, instead of you know valuing your success like if I asked you guys, you know Hey girl, like, what's your goal in a year? A lot of you guys might say, hey Jane, I'm trying to grow my social media and I'd like to hit like 10K on Instagram or um, a million. And then I'd be like, cool, Jessica, but like, what else? Now the reason why I think it's harmful to put your value in a number is because a lot of people quit. You guys hear my rant about patience, longevity, growing a brand takes motherfucking time. But let me put it this way. If your value is in like subscribers or money, especially money, or a number that people can see, you will be ultimately hurting yourself because you don't love what you're doing. A lot of people quit. The reason why I feel like people quit these days and like give up, it's not, not necessarily because they suck, because their product wasn't good, is because they put an extreme goal that they couldn't reach and when you don't hit a goal, over time you start to get complacency and you get a mediocre mindset and then you you just, you just give up. I care about you guys so much that I don't want that to happen to you. Just I, I want to fix your little mind, not little, you guys are smart, but to let you know that it's important to put your value in yourself. Like please yourself a favor, you can always be the smartest person on paper, a grade, a number can tell you, you know, how good you are, but how you define yourself needs to be about you. Like, you know, how, <laughs> if I ask you guys, like, how would you define yourself? Like, who are you? Most of you guys say, hey Jade, it's what I do, I'm a student. No! I want you guys to think about, and which will take time, but what is your greater purpose? 
what were you created to do? For example, I feel like my purpose slash who I am revolves more around helping others, less sort of being a marketer or an entrepreneur. Like my bigger picture is to help and give value to people because that makes me happy and that makes me work hard. So first step of kind of finding out, you know, what to post. You gotta know your belief. You gotta know who you are as a person. And that will, that will fix the baseline, okay? And I know this is a little rant, and I know this is a little interesting to hear, but please do yourself a favor and figure out who you are and understand that defining your success in a number will not help you. It's so hot. So the second thing you should know, if you don't have an idea what you wanna post, step two is to figure out your micro and your macro. Now what does this mean, Jade? So I used this tip before, but again, I'm kind of like not feeling in a spark of inspiration, so I wanna restate it from a few videos I've said in the past. Maybe you heard this before, maybe you haven't, but I believe in something called milking the cow. I haven't talked about this in a fat minute, so you guys who are OG might get like, what the fuck, Jade, you talking about this before? But this is for my new people who haven't heard of this. Milking the cow is something I stand by, I'll link it below. Basically, you have to have your micro and your macro. Your macro is the topic, the niche, the industry you're going for, it's like the general idea whether it's comedy music I talk about fashion beauty just just the general now the micro is where the money happens a lot of you guys are making videos Instagram posts about literally just macro if you don't have the micro which is the little categories in between the macro makes sense here I'll give you an example if my macro is talking about makeup tutorials well my micro would be making makeup tutorials that are drugstore friendly and for girls who are going into high school or if you're a musician I'm a rapper macro micro I make rap music for an audience that are college students who really have been hurt by their ex-boyfriend you see what I mean find out your micro and macro this, this is how you get endless ideas because you can actually tap into so many industries and so many topics what I do every month guys I literally recommend this for anyone uh, sit down and grab a little notebook you want to pick a piece of paper and make one column macro write the micro of each little bullet you wrote so every month I would ask yourself what are you super passionate about and then how you can go even deeper you guys ask me how I come up with video ideas that's my number one tip it really helped me figure out who I am and how I can go deeper in a really competitive topic a lot of you guys don't know how to become famous on YouTube or grow your account and it's because you're picking really general general terms go niche Pick a niche and stick with it. A lot of the times it takes one to two months for YouTube to pick up your content, okay? It takes Instagram like a few weeks just to pick it up to push it on the explore page. That's why you see older posts sometimes. Like why is this being pushed? It's because it takes a while for the data to analyze and then the algorithm will push it for you so you'll be on the explore page or the YouTube time feed. Now it even takes a year for you to be like number one search term for example if you someone searches how to grow on instagram there's a reason why my video is the top one because it took a year for it to actually pop through so that's how you understand how to grow it takes so much more time again going back to tip one having that larger purpose will really help you at least stay through because if you hate what you're doing and you don't love the process i know i sound like gary but if you really hate what you do, you're probably not gonna get to the point where a year later, you can say, hey, my video is the number one search on YouTube and this is how I'm getting subscribers and attention. I hope that makes sense. We're gonna move on to step three and I'm gonna finish up my makeup. So guys, for three, I don't know if you had been in school. If you guys don't know, I dropped out of high school to pursue my company. <laughs> When I was in school, we learned something called cause and effect. Now, this might be a story you might roll your eyes about, but it actually kind of works for the real life. Like, cause and effect. You do something, and then there's going to be return. You post a video, you get anxious. Get a Lamborghini, and then you become broke. You know, cause and effect is common sense, but I think people should apply it to their own brand. And you might be like, Jade, what does that mean? And I don't know exactly what it means. And to be honest, I'm trying to I'm struggling with video ideas. I think we all are struggling. I want to give you guys, like, perspective. Like, for example, cause. Shay doesn't know what to film on YouTube today. The fact, she sits down and actually goes through it. Even though it's not perfect, she tries her best to come up with ideas because sometimes action breeds clarity. You don't know what, exactly what you want to do in life. You just have to take that first step and then you'll figure it out along the way. Um, so similar to cause and effect, like I feel like a lot of the times you actually don't necessarily have to figure it all out. Literally, just the, the act of doing it will help you figure it out along the way. All you guys just don't want to take that first step. It's scary. It's not easy. Why is my concealer not coming out? It's actually not coming out. Maybelline! Maybelline! I have dark under eye circles. I look like I haven't slept. Do you guys see the show? Um, I've been actually asking you guys if you have any remedies for under eye circles because that's so sad. Oh, fuck! 
Okay, back to what I was saying. Guys, listen to me. Maybe you're someone who makes content for years and years and you're running out of ideas. Maybe you're someone who just got started and you just don't know what to do. It feels super saturated and it feels like everyone's doing what you're doing. So how can someone like you say no? Now listen, Sarah. Listen, Michael. Listen, you right there. I want you to know. The answer is you don't know what to post. And that is okay. Please do yourself a favor and figure it out now by just starting and putting it out there. I genuinely believe if you have a message to share and you're not sharing it because you don't know how to word it properly, how to message it perfectly, you are actually being extremely selfish. I believe we all have something to give to this world, some purpose and something to share. If you're hoarding it in, you are literally being so selfish because there are people you can help. If it's just one person, it is one person. It goes back to having that mindset that you don't need to hit a certain subscriber goal to feel valuable and happy in your life. Become internally confident in yourself. External numbers will come with it once you're happy with yourself. A lot of you guys give up, you quit too early. Have that longevity, it takes time. YouTube algorithm takes time. Searches takes time. Getting your message takes time. So if you don't know what to post, literally, I recommend you to post a picture of a Cheeto. Actually, we're gonna get my phone. Okay, we got the phone. And for the longest time, I've been posting pictures of high quality shit or just things that I'm really proud of. But I think at the same time, sometimes I hold back on posting things that I want to because it's not perfect. <laughs> So you know when you go through like your snapchats memories and you just find a photo that's just like what the fuck I found this one and typically I just don't I I would I just wouldn't post this for this video um, I just haven't posted an Instagram post in a while and I know it doesn't matter and I know I think through it a lot But I feel like we all tend to overthink about how my followers respond. Maybe I'm annoying people We're about to put it to the test See, I'm overthinking it. Like, I feel like people have to realize, like, yes, I'm a social media. Like, I do consulting for B2B sales and marketing. At the end of the day, I'm just also super scared sometimes about, you know, not getting enough likes. And then I'm like, fuck that. You know, that doesn't matter. So we're about to uh, drop some on this post. Um, I think I'm just going to caption it something about my thoughts. Let me, let me write it down. Okay, so I typed up this stuff. Just whatever I was passionate about on my Apple Notes. How I typically come up with captions, just because the Instagram platform itself is intimidating, so I just kind of like to type it out here. I'm gonna post the photo of me and my matcha. Literally, no filter. <laughs> I don't know why I don't want to post it. I haven't posted like a picture that's like raw. I don't know, that's just like, I like aesthetics. Um, this is breaking my feed. Maybe we're all afraid of that, but like, I think what's more important is the message, less of more so of how aesthetic it is. I think people forget to create a valuable piece of message to share that it's valuable, and they get caught up in the art. Um, the art is the part that will help you get it out to people. Um, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna post this. It's actually so stupid. Like, <laughs> Guys, it's been like five minutes and I didn't post it. It's like sitting here and I just need to hit share. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, we're just gonna hit share. Ah! Is it posting? It just posted. Oh my god. <laughs> it's posted. You guys can check it out here. Comment below like a little emoji. You comment below this howdy emoji. You are from this video and you want to show your love. Love to see how many of you guys are coming to the Instagram family as well as the YouTube family. But to summarize everything, I just came up with that caption literally while making this video, while not knowing what to post, while being really confused and stressed out about my social media. I think action breathes clarity. Just do it first and you'll figure it out along the way. I hope this kind of showed you a little bit of insight of sometimes what I struggle with too. Yes, I'm a social media consultant, but yes, I also have flaws. And yes, I also have a fear of failure. And I hope you guys understand that it's not that I try to conceal it or try to just like, let's get this shit done. No, I just choose to overcome it. I, it's still present. It's not like I dismay fear. It's just I choose to overcome. And I hope to give you guys that sort of mindset when you're working on your account. It's not going to go away. The fear of failure is going to be there, but at least you're putting towards the efforts to overcome it rather than run away from it. Anyways, guys, if you're still getting any value from this channel, make sure you like this video and hey, subscribe right over here and turn on post notifications. You guys, I just wanted to make this video to also just say thank you. I'm working on a couple projects in August. I have a, f I can't really say, but I have exciting things. Turn on post notifications if you want to see more about what I'm working on. Um, my app is launching in exactly two weeks and I want your guys' help. A little bit of insight. I've been working on this app for the longest time. It's my company. It's my child. It's been giving me 
tiers of joy and pain on it and it's basically an app to help you grow your own account there's lessons there's a tracker and it's in complete beta test so I can't say too much about it because it's so new but I want your feedback and I want your help so check the link below if you want to be a beta tester um, I have a good feeling about this guys and I just need your help and I want your input so check it out below you can roast me it's not perfect but again going back to my entire rant today action breeds clarity same with my own companies I want to also just try shit even if it's not perfect all right guys thank you so much for watching on your way out did i already say like and obliterate the comment section oh shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you want to be featured on my next video just comment that's all i look at your comments every day i love you so so much catch you guys in the next one good bye